it is Manchester United 2, Fulham 1. Manchester United collecting three points today, finishing third in the Premier League, finishing nine points behind Arsenal, who think that they're way ahead of us. Yes, Eric Ten Hag's first season, finishing third, winning the trophy. And of course, we've got that game against Manchester City. Yes, that game. And of course, with that ending as well, you can say, Oh, what a brilliant season we've had. Oh, oh, oh. God bless Eric Ten Hag for giving us this season. This has been one hell of a season for Manchester United. Finishing with 75 points, a highest tally since, what, Jose Mourinho. Again, you know, finishing comfortably in third place, not walk, you know, not scraping third like Oli's first proper season. We won a trophy, but Manchester United did what they had to get these three points. Last game of the season at home at Old Trafford, and we did it in front of the fans, and the fans are happy where we could just salute everything and end the season really well. I'm so happy, guys. <sighs> Big up Ten Hag. He's the, being the man, the mastermind of everything out of all of this situation. We've got one more game to go. To be fair, Fulham did give us a game today. I have to say, in that first 45 minutes, that first half where Fulham were reminded and replicate that performance. In that quarterfinals of the FA Cup, you remember that game, guys, where Manchester United were just so shit against Fulham. Fulham were just all over us and getting the goals and getting the goals. Fulham did get the first goal coming from... Of course, Tete from a corner, a set piece. Manchester United is conceding from a set piece. Tete with the fine header, and it's an early goal for them as well. And of course, guys, Manchester United. We was lucky to not be 2-0 down. Casemiro sticking his feet out, conceding a penalty for Alexandra Mitrovic to step up. And we was like, you know what? De Gea's can't save anything. Can't save. Fuck all. No penalties. He can't save us. You know, we can put our house on it and David De Gea won't save us. We will lose our mortgage on David De Gea saving that penalty. And guess what? Mitrovic stepped up. Bear in mind that he's missed his last three penalties in a row. And guess what? David De Gea steps up. He's like, no, I am not conceding. Not today. I'm practicing for Man City in the penalty shootouts. And David De Gea is saving that penalty against Mitrovic. Mitrovic was shocked and stunned. And of course, from there we thought, yes, we believe we can come back. We can come back. And yes, so we did. Manchester United equalised it before half-time. Jaden Sancho, but big up Pastor Fred, who received the ball from Bruno, who powered through. Fred, powered through that midfield. He said, no, Sunday, I'm going to preach. My sermon will deliver. And for some reason, we praised God. We praised the Lord. The ball somehow ricocheted while laying in front of Sancho to Sancho to finish it off. And it was 1-1. Sancho... Had one of a game as well, especially on the right hand side, doing so well. The second half, he's like, "Yep, well, it's half time. We 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 can come back and win this game and finishing off well, you know, especially when Newcastle drawing and then Manchester United. Oh, Bruno Fernandez, but big up Jaden Sancho to find that free ball, that free ball to find Bruno Fernandez. And Fernandez, all he had to do was finish it, and he finished it well in. And covering his ears saying I don't want to hear it Mr. GA you know I'm all about this I don't want to hear the hate everyone talks about me GA and I can't pass the ball and etc in the full night miss never never be performed consistently but guess what I do it for you man our captain Bruno Fernandes making it 2-1 for Manchester United but after that goal Manchester United were coasting again just trying to see the game through but Manchester United had opportunities to make it 3-1 even in the first half as well to equalize as well, making it 2 1 and 3 1. They had the opportunities. You know, Werkos cannot score to save his life. Final game, he's had a brilliant opportunity to finish off, and this guy just was unable to finish. Werkos, Jesus. But the game finishing 2 1 to Manchester United, meaning Manchester United comfortable finishing third. What a remarkable season it has been. And there's one more game left, and that's the game against Manchester City. And Manchester United can win that. Woo! One hell of a season for us this season under Eric Turner. A brilliant season and no hate. These guys that talk all this shit about my manager, I'm not going to have this. My manager will prove himself in terms of the style of play will be much more significant and much more evident next season. Anyway, guys, this is your last match reaction of the season. It's been a brilliant season for us, Manchester United fan. We know watch along for the final because, of course, your boys on holiday. Back tomorrow live. 8 p.m. to discuss the match with the guys unless we do it slightly earlier so just press the notification bell live on thursday for your latest manchester united news but this has been your match reaction 
my man of the match today has to go to Jaden Sancho. Don't give the match nobody. Let me know who your man of the match is as well. Your don't give the matches, your, your comments as well, your thoughts on the match in the comments as always. Remember to keep it united. Smash that like button, subscribe and share across all social media platforms. Press that notification bell. And last but not least, remember to keep it red united. Your boy is out. Peace. United. United.